Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz. We're here live in Clinch County at the Homerville Gymnasium with the Lady Panthers are hosting the Pierce County Lady Bears from Blackshear, Georgia. Lady Panthers come in with a one-on-one -on -one record. They defeated Cook County the first game of the year, and then they lost last week to 5A Ware County, 62 to 38. Lady Bears come in with a four and three record. Uh, ought to be a pretty good game. We're gonna start the girls here at six, and then the boys will follow at about, probably around 7.30, quarter to eight. So y'all sit back. We are about eight minutes away from tip off. We're gonna take a break and hear a word from some of our sponsors, and we'll be back for some live girls basketball right here on Creek Box. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averitt House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily, and the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia, the largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Merry Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 
Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 912- 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz working the camera. And we're back for some more exciting girls basketball. Lady Panthers coming off their first defeat in a while. See how they're going to react. Coach Chase, Coach Doreen, and Coach them up, along with Coach JD. We're fixing to get ready for their starting lineup of the Bears and the Panthers. You're listening to uh, Coach Lee Douglas going over the rules. Panther cheerleaders got their Christmas sweaters on. Wish everybody happy holidays and a safe holiday. We're right here from Creek Box. 
We're inside, nice, cozy, and warm, but believe me, it is cold outside. Number two, Jenna Heron. Number two, Heron. Number four, Bella Delaney. Number 10, Olivia Bennett. Number 12, Elena Bell. And number 15, Claire Murray. Here's your starting lineup for the Lady Bears. Now here come the Panthers. And now you're starting out for the Lady Panthers. Number one, Destiny Tubb. Number four, Amari Dean. Number 10, Jaleza Riley. Number 11, Asia Hood. And number 13, Tara Stevens. All right, there's your starting lineup for the Lady Panthers. So we are getting ready. You've got Talbert, Dean, Riley, Hood, and Stevens for the Panthers. You've got Heron, Delaney, Bennett, Bell, and Murray for the Bears. Panthers playing up in competition again. This is a double-A school from Pierce County. Jumping for the Panthers, of course, will be number four, Dean. She's going to be jumping against Murray from Pierce County. Panthers will be in their white uniforms, Pierce in their blues. We're getting ready for some basketball. Two games on the schedule tonight. Girls up first. Referee ask them. Well, we're ready. Dean will win the tip. Talbert with the ball. Here come the Panthers. Quick down to Hood. Good block there by number 15, Murray. Panthers keep it. Cupcake with the ball. She'll give it over to Talbert. Back out to Asia. Asia driving in. I'll throw up one. Knocked out of bounds. The Bears will take over. Panthers jumping an early press. Bennett bringing it down. She's going to give it over to Bell. Back out to Delaney. Over to Heron. Trying to get it down low to number 15, Murray. It'll go out of bounds. Here come the Panthers back on offense. Talbert to bring it in. We're right back to her. Talbert driving to the left. Out to Cupcake. Down to Dean. Dean at the free throw line. Jump shot. Can't get it to go. Number 15, Murray with the rebound. Long pass down to number 12. Good job there by Asia getting back to get the block. Long three, no good. Murray with the rebound for the Bears. She'll throw it up, can't get it. Dean with the rebound for the Panthers. Here comes the clinch now. she give it back off to Talbert. Talbert driving a little bit. Good defense by the Bears. We're scoreless here in the first. Cupcake with the ball out to Asia. Back to Cupcake looking. Got it to Asia. Nowhere to go. Asia will dribble back out. Give it off to Stevens. Stevens drives in, lays it up and in. Good shot by the Panthers. Two to nothing, Panthers lead. Here come the Bears. Bennett with the ball. She'll give it up to Delaney. Back over to Bell. Bennett with it again. She's going to pull up a 12-footer. Got it off the backboard. Good shot by Bell. We're tied up two apiece now. We got a shoe untied. Talbert will tie it now. We're ready to go. Here come the Panthers. Two to two here in the first. Talbert with the ball. She'll dribble to the right. Kick it back out to Cupcake. Looking down to Asia. Asia trying to drive in. Good defense by Murray. Asia found a way. Couldn't get in. Tried to get a shot off. Missed it. And it's going to go out of bounds. So the Lady Bears will take over now. Delaney bringing it down for the Bears. She'll give it up over to Bennett. All the way across, back to Bell. 
Good defense by the Panthers. There's a steal by Dean. She lost it back, though. Bennett got it back. Let's see. We got a foul here. No out of bounds, I guess. No foul. Threw it away. Stevens will bring it in. Talbert bringing it down for the Panthers. Talbert going all the way to the basket. Ten-footer, can't get it to roll. Asia with the rebound. She'll kick it back out to Stevens. Good crossover by Stevens. She'll kick it out to Talbert. Talbert trying to drive. Good defense by the Bears. Coach Chase wanted a quick timeout. They had the Talbert trapped on the side. We'll stay right here. I can get it, give me an opportunity to give our sponsors a shout out. We have the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett. Richard's Meat and Seafood and Famous Barbecue Sauce. Richard, registered Satsumas. Y'all hurry up and get them. The season's almost over. Douglas Metal, Huey's One Stop, Lutz Brown Insurance. Moore Farms in Manor, Georgia. Walker Jones of Waycross. Burt CPA, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Napa Auto. Savage Turner Law Firm. Camping World of Alasta. Clint Memorial Family Practice, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia. Clinch Memorial Hospital, Peaks Inn and Waycross. Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Dre Snack Shack and Homerville Jewelers. Man, we appreciate everybody. We got some more. We're gonna add to the Creek Box family here short, shortly. And if anybody would love to become one, you'll let me and Daniel know. We can hook you up. We are all tied up here in the first. Two to two. Five minutes to play. Here come the Bears now. Delaney bringing it down. She'll kick it over to Bennett. All the way across. Back over to Bell. Bell will dribble in. She got it right back to Delaney. Murray with the ball now. They got her trapped. There's a steal by Talbert. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert's going to take it all the way to the basket and got it to go. Good shot by Talbert. Four to two, Lady Panthers on top now. Delaney with the ball for Pierce. He'll kick it all the way over to Heron. Back out to Bennett. Bennett's going to drive, 12-footer. Couldn't get it to go, knocked out of bounds. Panthers have possession. Magby will bring it in for the Panthers. Talbert will run it down. Panthers lead four to two. Talbert over to Asia. As you're dribbling around, she'll give it back to Talbert. Good defense by the Bears. They'll knock it out of bounds. Panthers keep it. Magby will bring it back in for the Panthers. They get it into Talbert. We got a foul, a reach in. That's going to be on. Nope, they stepped out of bounds, I guess. Panthers turn it over. Here come the Bears. Delaney bringing it down. She'll kick it all the way over to Heron. Trying to get it to Murray down low. Couldn't get it. Bears will keep possession. Bennett bringing it in. Got it to Murray. Murray, big tall girl, puts it up. She'll draw a foul. She'll shoot two. The foul will be on number 11. That's Asia. That'll be her first. Miss Alicia Jenkins is watching. Murray, first shot. Off the back of the rim. Can't get it to go. Second shot on the way. Miss Tomka Peters is in the game now for the Panthers. Along with Nana. Back of the rim, we got a lane violation. They're going to give her one more. Don't know who it was on. Let's 
Now I'm fixing her shirt, I think. Third free throw, couldn't get it to go. Peters had it, Shield lost it over there, knocked it out of bounds, now the Panthers keep it. Jump ball, Magby with it, Panthers have possession. Here come the Panthers now, Talbert bringing it down. Got it to Peters. Peters dribbling around, she'll kick it out to Nana. Nana has it, she lost it, and here comes the Pierce County Bears. Nana will steal it back, good job by Nana. Here come the Panthers now, over to Talbert. Talbert kicking it out to Peters. Peters with a shot, can't get it to go. Dean with the rebound, we got a jump ball. Well, they don't let them hold it long, they'll call a jump ball. Pierce County has it, so here they come. Four to two, Panthers lead. Murray with the ball. Setting it up, they're looking, got to get rid of it. Good job, they got it over to Delaney. Back over to Heron. Back to Delaney. Bennett with the ball, she'll kick it back over to Heron. Heron will pull up with the shot. Good job, down low, that was Bell with the basket. Four points for Bell tonight. We're all tied up, four piece. Good job by the Lady Bears, they almost had a steal, knocked it out of bounds, Panthers keep possession. Magby, she'll give it right back to Talbert. To Magby, she's gonna turn around, can't get it to go, we got a foul. This one though, I think it's on number four. Nope. Number 15, that is Murray, and that'll be your first. Put Magby at the free throw line. Got it, good shot by Magby. Second free throw on the way. Panthers lead now five to four. 2.14 to play in the first. Can't get it to go. Bears with the rebound. Bennett with it. She'll give it over to Heron. All the way down to Delaney. Long three and got it. Good shot by Delaney. That'll put the Bears on top seven to five for their first lead. Dorsey in the game now. Got it back to Talbert. Back to Dorsey. Dorsey trying. They got three men hanging on her. She'll kick it back to Talbert. She'll throw it up, can't get it. Tomka with the rebound, she'll put it up and in for the Panthers. We're all tied up seven apiece now. Bennett with the ball. She'll kick it down to Bell. Bell over to Heron, Heron's gonna drive a little bit, throws up a 10 footer. Nana with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Now, now, get it to Peters. Peters all the way across to Dorsey. Dorsey's gonna drive in, throws it up, can't get it, but we'll draw a foul. Number 15 again, that's two on Murray now. Dorsey will shoot two, 109 to play in the first. First shot on the way, can't get it to go. Richie will check in for the Bears. All right, Dorsey's second shot on the way. Got it. Good job by Dorsey. That'll give the Panthers the lead, eight to seven. All right, here come the Bears now. Delaney bringing it down. She'll give it up to Bennett. All the way across to number 11, Griner. Back to Delaney. Got it to Griner again. A 
across to Delaney. Good ball movement by the Bears. Number 10 will pull up. That's Bennett. Can't get it to go. Tomka with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Cupcake will slow it down. Get over to 25. Looking long three. Boom! Got it. Good shot by the Panthers. 11 to 7. Panthers on top. Diner with the ball. They get it to Bell. Back out to Delaney. Over to Bennett. Bennett's going to kick it all the way back out to Delaney. Another three off the rim. Bell with the rebound. Blocked by Tomka. Here come the Panthers now. Asia with it. She'll stop. That's going to be the first quarter. So the Panthers lead 11 to 7. After one, we'll take a break and we'll be back. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470 to schedule yours. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're getting ready for the second quarter. Panthers lead 11 to 7, and they have the ball. Cupcake with it. Got it to Dorsey. Over to Asia. Asia needs some help. She'll dribble out. Got to get rid of it. She does. Good job. Good save by 25. Cupcake with it now. She'll dribble to the right. Oh, bad pass. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Bears. Delaney with the ball. Get it to Griner down low. Griner was trying to get to Richie. Bennett saves it. They get it to Bale down low. That'd be a foul. They're going to call that on number 25, it looks like, for the Panthers. That'll put Bale at the free throw line. Bale with four points tonight for the Bears. First free throw on the way. Got it. Good shot. Bale waiting on her second shot. Here we go. On the way, got it. Good shooting by Bell. She has six points, 11 to nine. Panthers still on top. Talbert with the ball, trying to get it to Asia. There's a turnover. That was a good play by Richie. Griner trying to run it down. Couldn't quite save it. So the Panthers will take over. Here comes Talbert back on this end. Cupcake, uh, Stevens with the ball. She'll give it to Nana, or excuse me, Asia. Down to Dean, turnaround jump shot, in and out. Dorsey with the rebound, can't get it, got the rebound again, and made it this time. Good shot by Dorsey. 13 to nine, Panthers on top. Bennett trying to get it low. Dean will steal it, here she comes on the other end, behind her back. All the way, left-handed, lays it up and in. Dean with the basket. 15 to nine now, Panthers on top. Griner with the ball. Back over to Bennett. Good steal by Asia, she's gonna throw it out. Talbert with it. Talbert's gonna take it all the way, can't get it. 
Man, Asia had it. She'll lose it. Oh, excuse me, Stevens had it. Lost it out of bounds. Here and back in the game for Pierce. 15 to nine, six minutes to play in the first half. Bennett with the ball. Back over to Griner. Trying to get it to Bale. We're gonna have a travel, so that'll be a turnover. Morris is number 25. All right, Asia with the ball. Over to Stevens. Dorsey with it now. Back to Asia. Stevens, Talbert. They get it to, oh, we got a three second lane violation. Dean, I think they called it on. Man, we got about 650 people watching so far. We appreciate everybody tuning in. 15 to nine, 525 to play in the first half. Bennett with the ball, she give it to Griner. There's a steal by Dean. And she dribbled, lost it out of bounds. Pierce County will keep possession. Delaney back in the game, Griner will take a break. Magby will check in and Asia will take a break. Pierce with the ball, 15 to nine. They get it to Bell. Bell back over here to Murray. Murray with a big three pointer, good shot. 15 to 12 now. Panthers coming back down. Magby's trying to save it and she does. Magby will throw up a three, in and out. Dorsey with the rebound, back up. Dean with the rebound, she'll put it up, can't get it to fall. Bell with it, and she traveled. She tried to put the brakes on, couldn't stop. Panthers have it now, Stevens will bring it in. Talbert will walk it down for the Panthers. Out to Dorsey. Talbert with it, turn around, jump shot. Can't get it to go. Dean with the rebound, left-handed up and in. Good shot by Dean. 17 to 12 now, Panthers back on top. Bell with the ball. There's a steal by the Panthers. Here comes Magby out to Stevens. Stevens trying to throw it back to Magby. She'll save it. Oh, but she traveled. So that'll be another Panther turnover. Richie will check back in for the Bears. And Elena will take a break. Minot is in the game also. Number 30 for the Bears. That one will be thrown away. Panthers have it. 3.53 to play in the first half. Here comes Talbert. Over to Magby. Back out to Stevens. Stevens looking. Back to Magby. Stevens has it, trying to dribble in. She'll kick it out to Dorsey. Oh, and there's a steal. Dorsey lost it. Magby will save it. Dean has it now. Shot clock at seven, six. Dean lost it. Panthers have it. There's another steal. We got a jump ball. Man. Four turnovers down there on this end. Bears have it now. Delaney bringing it down for Pierce. Oh, it went back court. 
Panthers didn't touch it. She just went, went back court. I think it went off her ankle. So the Panthers have possession. Bennett will check back in now. Williams will come into the game for the Panthers. Stevens will take a break. Talbert back to Williams, back to Talbert. They get it to Dorsey. Dorsey off the backboard, can't get it to go. Williams up high with the rebound. Jump ball. Panthers have possession. All right, referee saying, calm down. They get it to Dorsey. Dorsey spin around, jump shot, short. Rebound, Dorsey will slap it out of bounds. Pierce County will have it, though. Good hustle by Bennett there for Pierce. They're under three minutes to play here in the first half now, 17 to 12. Delaney bringing it down for Pierce. Heron with the ball. Back to Bennett. Oh, and that's going to be thrown away. Talbert got it. She'll throw up one from the free throw line. Out of bounds. No foul. Pierce County has the ball. Two twenty-five. Clock running. Bennett with the ball. Wide open, down low, number 30. That's going to be a foul. They got it to Minot. And that'll be on Dorsey. That'll be her first. First one. Minot will miss it. Richie will check back in for the Bears. And Aleka Bell will take a break. Second free throw on the way for the Bears. Can't get it to go. Rebound Williams for the Panthers. Here comes Talbert now. Back to Williams. Williams. Oh, man, she took an extra step. We're stuck on 17 to 12 now. Here come the Bears. Bennett with the ball. you give it up to Richie. Knocked out of bounds. Off the Bears, here comes the Panthers. Seems like neither team wants to score. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Dean with the ball. Got it down low to Dorsey. Dorsey trying to, got it back to Talbert. She'll drive in, she'll draw a foul. That'll put Talbert at the free throw line. The foul's gonna be on number 30. Minot, that'll be her first. 144 to play. Talbert at the free throw line. First one is off. Stevens in the game now for the Panthers. Or Cupcake, excuse me. Riley. Second free throw on the way for Talbert. Got it. Good shot. Three points tonight for Talbert. 18 to 12 now. Good dribbling by the Bears. Got it down low to Richie. She's going to use the backboard. Can't get it. Dorsey with the rebound. Talbert with the ball now. Down to Dean. Dean drives in and got it. Good shot by Dean. 20 to 12. Bennett, she'll give it up. Got it down low, and they're going to call that on Dean, I'm sure. Williams, one of them. Yep, that'll be on Dean. That'll be her first. Now 
Went out back at the free throw line. First one's good, good shot. 20 to 13 now. Second shot on the way and got them both. Good job by Minot. 20 to 14, here come the Panthers. Stevens, long three, short. Magby saved it, good job but the Bears will steal it. Long pass down to four. She'll lay it up, can't get it to go. Tomka with the rebound. Oh, they said she traveled. Good job by Tomka. Referee said she traveled. It'll be a turnover. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Bennett will bring it in. You'll get it to Richie. Back over to Minot. There's a steal there by Magby. Magby from one end to the other. Can't get it to go. We got a foul. That'll be on number 30. That's going to be our second. So that's going to put Magby at the free throw line for the Panthers. Magby with one point tonight. 45 seconds to play here in the first half. Good shot by Magby. She'll make the first one. Nana and Stevens will check in the game now for the Panthers. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Good job by Magby. Got them both. 22 to 14. Here come the Bears, Delaney with the ball. Oh, the Panthers have it. Let's see, we got it, jump ball. Bears have the possession, so they'll keep it. Bennett will bring it in for the Bears. Got it down low to Minot. She'll drive in. Nana with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Nana will slow it down now. Over to Magby. Magby will pull up 12 foot. Oh, Tomka with the rebound. She lost it. Here come the Bears now. 12 seconds. Number four off the backboard. Can't get it to go. Stevens with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Six. Five, four, got it to Nana. She'll throw it up, can't get it. Adds another shot, no good. Panthers had three chances down there to get a basket at the buzzer and couldn't. So after one half played, Panthers 22, Pierce 14. We'll be back in 10 minutes. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. 
Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-co Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of a lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle & Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, 
Chosen Quality, Chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta, come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's catering service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs, so don't put your dreams off another day. Alright everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Handley. Got my buddy Daniel Muno who's working the camera. We're getting ready for the second half. Panthers lead 22 to 14. Dean with six first half points. Talbert three. Magby three. Stevens two. Peters two. Dorsey three. And Morris three. Your top scores. For the Panthers, Bale has six points for the Bears here in the first half. A long three by Dean, it'll go out of bounds. So the Panthers will turn it over. You got Delaney with three points in the first half, along with Murray and Minot with two points. They're going to throw it out to Bennett. Bennett, long three, can't get it to go. Murray with the rebound. She'll get it down to Bell. Bell puts it up and in. Elena Bell. She has eight now. 22 to 16. Panthers on top. Riley with the ball over to Asia. Oh, they said she traveled. That'll be a turnover. We got about 700 people, 750 people tuning in so far. We appreciate everybody watching here on Creek Box. Just starting the second half, Clinch County and Pierce County. 
Panthers on top, 22-16. Bennett with the ball, all the way back across to Delaney, back to Bennett. Bennett will kick it over to Heron. Heron with a long three, overshot it. Bell with the rebound, up and in. Elena with another basket. 22-18, here come the Bears now. Talbert with the ball. Back over to Cupcake, down to Dorsey. Spin up and in, good shot by Dorsey. 24-18. Well, we got a timeout, so we'll be back in 30 seconds. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Panthers lead Pierce 24-18. Pierce with the ball. Delaney will bring it down the court for the Bears. Need some help. She got it. Murray will come out and help her. Panthers got her trapped. Now Murray needs help. Good job. She'll get it to Bennett. All the way back over to Delaney. I'll throw up a three. Can't get it. Bell had it and lost it out of bounds. Hmm. Cupcake will bring it in. Talbert will bring it, dribble it down the court. She's going to take it all the way to the basket. Couldn't get it. Dorsey fighting for it. She got the rebound. Oh, and threw it away right to Delaney. Murray has it. She'll give it up to Bennett. Bennett back across to Heron. Bail down low, driving, knocked out of bound by Dorsey. Good block. Talbert with the ball. Here come the Panthers. She'll kick it down to Asia. Asia with a move to the basket. Got a block. Good job there by Murray with the block. Here come the Bears. Over to Delaney. Delaney trying to get it to Bell. Kicked out to Murray. Murray with the shot. Can't get it to go. Bell tried to save it. She'll lose it out of bounds. Here come the Panthers now. Cupcake with the ball. Bringing it down. She'll give it off to Asia, back over to Talbert. Back to Cupcake. Got it over to Asia. Asia, 12-footer. Couldn't get it to go. Dorsey with the rebound. She'll put it back up and in. Good job by Dorsey. Seven points for Dorsey now. 26 to 18. Dean almost stole it. Good job getting it down. Bell trying to lay it up. Dorsey. Oh, and she'll throw it away. Each team turning it over, man. It's like they're playing hot potato. Neither one of them want to get it. Pierce with the ball. Delaney has it. Over to Heron. Oh, Dorsey slapped it away. Dean almost had it. Good job by Delaney to get it. Great shot by Bennett. She'll put it up and in. 26-20. Panthers still on top. Four minutes to play in the third. Cupcake with the ball. Got it to Dean. Dean reverse lays it up and in. Good shot by Dean. Eight points for her. 28-20. Bennett will bring it in for the Bears. Murray with the ball. She's going to drive it in. Can't get it to go. Asia with the rebound. She'll give it up to Dean. Dean will slow it down now. Back out to Talbert. Talbert. 
Over to Cupcake. Asia with the ball now. She needs some help. She picked her dribble up. Got the helper. She done a good job to get it to Dorsey. We're going to have a three second. That's going to be on Dean. Panthers will turn it over. Nine now come in the game now. Cupcake will take a break. Here come the Bears now. Bell with the ball. She'll get it over to Heron. Double dribble. That'll be a turnover. Panthers have it. Now, now, bring it in. Talbert pushing it down. Over to Nana. Down to Dorsey. Dorsey will drive in. Got a block. Good job there by number 15. The first block, the second one, they're going to call it on her. That'll be three on Murray. That'll put Dorsey at the free throw line. She'll miss the first one. Magby in the game, along with Morris and Stevens. 2.56 to play in the third. Oh, it went in and come out. Here come the Bears now. Heron with the ball. Good pass down low to Bell. Alea lays it up and in. Panthers miss again. Here come the Bears. Back down, 28-22. Delano with the ball. Oh, she traveled. That'll be a turnover. Elena with 12 points for the Bears tonight. We got a timeout, Pierce County. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, everyone, we're back live on Creek Box. Panthers lead 28-22. Morris with the ball. She'll get it to Magby. She's trapped, got it down to Tomka. Tomka driving, we got a jump ball. Bennett tied her up. Good defense by Bennett. Here come the Bears now. They can cut it to four. Delana, she'll kick it all the way out to Bennett. Bennett back over to Heron. Heron drives in and got it. 28-24. Panthers on top. Nana with the ball. Got it to Tomka. Tomka's going to turn, shoot, can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. Morris will bring it in. Oh, trying to get it down low to Stevens. 
Good job by Pierce, they'll get the steal. Heron driving, oh, Magby with the block. Said she got into her with her body. That'll be on Magby and that'll be her first. Miss Edmonds says, let's go Panthers. Eight twenty-five. Second shot on the way for Heron. In and out, couldn't get it to go. Manah had to rebound, but she traveled. All right, here come the Panthers, up by three now. Twenty-eight twenty-five. Morris with the ball. Over to Nana. Nine nine dribbling around. Got to get rid of it. She needs some help. Jump ball. Let's see who has the possession. Pierce does. So that'll be a Panther turnover. Coach Chase going to bring in four subs, maybe five here. He will, all five. The Williams, Morris, Tomka. All of them gonna take a break. Cupcake will bring it in. Talbert with the ball. Got it over to Dorsey. Dorsey looking, back out to Talbert. Dorsey with the ball. Shot clock, violation. Good job by the Bear defense. They can tie it up with this possession. Under a minute to play in the third. A long pass, a knock it. Good job by Dean. Dean got, a, got it up in the air and hit it. And grabbed the ball and threw it. They said the Bears, apparently she was touching the foul line. Pierce County with the ball, Heron with it. Oh, and she threw it away, trying to get it to Richie. Here come the Panthers now. About six seconds difference in the play clock and the shot clock. Talbert driving and got it to sit in there. Good job by Talbert. 30 to 25. Delaney with the ball, got it to Heron. Good job by Asia, she'll knock it out of bounds. 22 seconds to play in the third. Bennett will bring it in. Got it out to Heron. All the way across to Bennett. 15 footer, Bennett can't get it to fall. Bale with the rebound. Back to Delaney. Back over to Bennett. Long three off the rim, couldn't get it another rebound and that'll do it. So after three quarters, it's Clinch County 30, Pierce County 25, we'll be back in 60 seconds. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Daniel Munzo working the camera. All right. We're starting the fourth quarter. Panthers on top, 30 to 25. Bears trying to get back in it. Good steal by Asia. Oh, they said she kicked the ball, so it'll go right back to the Bears. Murray with the, oh man, big block by Dean, but she got into her. So that'll be Dean's second foul. And that's gonna put Murray at the free throw line. She had three points for the Bears tonight. First shot on the way. Got it, good shot by Murray. 30 to 26 now. Second shot on the way. Got it, pretty shot. 30 to 27, here come Talbert and the Panthers. She give it up to Asia. Asia drives in, 10 footer hard, can't get it to go. Dorsey with the rebound. She'll get it back to Asia. Asia to Dorsey. Dorsey looking, you're in the lane, get it off. Got a foul on number 12. That's Elena Bell, that'll be her first. That's gonna put Dorsey at the free throw line for the Panthers. Dorsey has seven points tonight, she'll miss that one. Second free throw on the way. Got it, good shot by Dorsey. 31-27, here come the Bears. Oh, there's Dean with a steal behind her back. They're gonna get her for pushing. Oh man, she did it too. That'll be her third foul. Let's see what Coach Chase is gonna do. Coach Doreen saying, get down to the other end, you did it. Here come the Bears now. Murray with it, she'll lose it. Dorsey got it, you'll give it up to Talbert. Talbert all the way, lays it up and in. And one. And they're gonna call that on number 10. That is Bennett, that'll be her first. That'll put Talbert at the free throw line. Talbert trying to make it a three point play and she does. 34-27, Panthers trying to pull away again. Bennett with the ball, got it down low to Bell again. There it is, boy, that's been there all night. Elena Bell with the basket, 34-29. Every time the Panthers try to pull away, the Bears get her right back in it. Good pass from Dorsey down to Talbert, and Talbert will lay it up and in. 36-29. Delana with the ball, she'll give it up to Heron. Heron down low to Murray. Dorsey will take it, jump ball. Murray was trying to go to the basket, Dorsey seen it and grabbed it. Full timeout for Coach Chase, so we're going to take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. 
Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're live here in Homerville. Lady Panthers leading Pierce County, 36-29 here in the fourth. 6-18 to play. That's going to be a foul. Let's see who he's going to call this one on. Number 13, that's going to be on Stevens. That'll be her first. That's going to put Bennett at the free throw line. She's got two points. First shot off the end of the rim. Second shot on the way, couldn't get it to go. Good job by Murray with the rebound and puts it back up and in. Murray with seven points. Delaney will knock it out of bounds for the Bears. 36-31, Pierce County in a press now. Panthers struggled the other night with this. Talbert with the ball, good job. They're gonna get it down to Dean, two on one. Dean to Dorsey, got it. Pretty play. 38-31, long pass. Dean will intercept it, here she comes. From one end to the other, she'll throw it up, got it. 10 points for Dean now, 40 to 31. Bears need a basket to keep it close. Heron with the ball. Back over to Bennett. Bennett will lose it, Dorsey with it. She'll get it to Dean. Dean will slow it down, back out to Talbert. Now 5-10 to play in the game. Dorsey with the ball. Oh, trying to get it back to Talbert, a pullback 12-footer, can't get it to go. Murray with the rebound. Heron will bring it down. She'll get it over to Bennett. They found her again, and that's gonna be another foul, and that'll be foul number four on Dean. Elena has had it all night, been wide open. I don't know what you did, Daniel. Four fouls on Dean. First shot on the way off the back of the rim. Dean will go to the bench with four fouls with 4.49 to play. Magby in the game for the Panthers. Got the second one, let's see. Oh, we got subs coming in. Good shot by Bell. Elena lighting it up. 40 to 32. Talbert will dribble through all of them, lays it up, and couldn't get it to go. Got her own rebound. Dorsey will put it up, can't get it to go. Here come the Bears now. Heron with the ball. All the way out to Delaney. Back to Heron, back to Delaney. Oh, long three, couldn't get it to go. Good job there by Cupcake. Got up high and got a no. Stevens, excuse me. 
He wasn't going to let nobody take it from her. Pierce had the possession. Murray with a long shot off the rim. Heron with the ball, she'll throw it up, can't get it to go. That's going to be called on Asia. That'll be her second foul. 419 to play. Panthers up by eight. 40 to 32. Heron with three points tonight for the Bears. She'll miss the first one. Second shot on the way. It's up, got it, good shot by Heron. Pierce trying to get it back, got the Panthers in a bind with the press, they'll steal it again. Heron with the ball, she lays it up, can't get it. Asia had it, we'll have a jump ball. Forty to thirty-three. Four oh seven to play. Asia with the ball. She'll give it back to Magby. Magby coming down the court. She'll be tripped. It'll roll free. Here comes Murray with the Bears. Heron hurt on one end. She'll get up. We got a timeout. We got one hurt. It's Heron. So the, she'll come to the sideline. We'll take a break. We'll be back in thirty seconds. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everyone, we're back here on Creek Box. 40-33, Panthers in the lead. Pierce County with the ball, trying to cut back into it. Bennett will bring it in. Delaney with a long three off the back of the rim. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers have it. We got about 1,100 people watching now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. They got her, she needs some help. Tolbert will finally get it across. Five seconds, no she won't. Be another Panther turnover. Let's see, no, he might've called a foul on number five. He did. My bad. That'll be a Lake of Bell. That'll be her first. Dean back in the game. She's got to be careful. She's got four fouls. Stevens with the ball. She'll throw it up. Overshot the goal. They're going to call a foul on Stevens. That'll be her second. Magby will check in the game now. Stevens will come out and take a break. 3.35 to play. Y'all don't go nowhere after this game. Oh, we got the boys coming up. Man, if it's anything like the first two games, it will be exciting. Coach Terrence George doing a great job as usual. First shot up and in. Good shot there by Bennett. Three points for her tonight. Heron back in the game. Good to see her. 40 to 34 now, two possessions is the difference. 335 to play. Bears trying to hang around and steal one here in Homerville. Second shot on the way for Bennett. Got it, got them both. Big free throws down the stretch for Pierce. 
We're going to have another quick timeout, so we'll be back in 60 seconds. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and every all right, everybody, we're back. 40-35, Panthers lead. Pierce County trying to hang around. Cupcake with the ball. She needs some help. Give it, throwing it away. She saved it, though, got it back. Bell with it. She traveled, man. Elena's played some basketball tonight. She's got 10, 15 points for the Bears. Oh, Talbert was losing it. Had to throw it in and threw it right to a Bear. Heron will miss it. Good block by Bell. I mean by um, the Panthers. Be knocked out of bounds. That was Dean with the block. Dean will bring it in, 3-11 to play. Dorsey with the ball. Back to Dean. Dean with a long three, overshot it. 40 to 35, Panthers still lead. Here come the Bears. Delaney bringing it down. Got it over to Heron. Back to Bennett. Bennett will kick it out to Bell. Elena Bell overshot it. Murray with the rebound. Back to Heron. Heron will throw it up off the backboard, up and in. Six points for Heron tonight. A one possession game now, 40-37. Dean dribbling it down. She'll give it up to Talbert. Panthers need a basket. Talbert, oh, good job by Bennett. Talbert will throw it up, overshot it, and Murray with the rebound. Got it out to here, and here they come. Delaney with the ball. Oh, and that'll be a foul on Cupcake. Had to make the foul. That'll put Elena Bell back at the free throw line. Panthers need a basket. They're stuck on 40. First shot on the way, got it. <laughs> 40 to 38 now. Second free throw on the way for Elena. Off the back of the rim, Murray with the rebound for Pierce. She'll throw it up, can't get it. Cupcake had it and lost it. Pierce County will keep the ball. Bennett will bring it in. Murray with the shot and got it. We're all tied up here, folks. 40 to 40, Panthers. That press has killed them here in the second half. 9-9 in the game, Cupcake will take a break. 2.03 to play. They get it to Dean, Dean back down, lose it again. Nana saved it, back to Dean. Dean bringing it down. We got a foul, let's see who it's on. A blocking foul on number 10. That's Bennett, that'll be her second. Panthers have possession, 155 to play. We're tied up 40 to 40. Back to Asia, back to Nana over to Talbert. Talbert dribbling, almost lost it. 
Saved it, Pierce County has it. Delaney with the ball. Back out to Heron. Over to Bennett now. Pierce County taking their time. Oh, they said she traveled. Looked like she was drying her hands. Referee said she turned the ball over. So that'll be a turnover by the Bears. Here come the Panthers. Dorsey with the ball. Dorsey will pull up at the free throw line. Can't get it to go. Dean up high with the rebound up and in. See what we got here. Number 15. That's Murray. That'll be her fourth. Dorsey will shoot two, so we're still tied up. Elena Bell for Pierce has 16 points. Dorsey now with another basket. Big free throws for Dorsey. Dorsey with 11 points tonight for the Panthers. 41 to 40. Got them both. Big baskets for Dorsey. And the Panthers, 42 to 40. Panthers on the press now. They're going to throw it. Dean with the steal. 120 to play, clock running. Dean back to Talbert. Talbert will slow it down. Gonna we'll try to bleed some of the clock. Trying to get it back to Dorsey, knocked out of bounds and the Panthers lose it. Pierce County with the ball. You got to watch Bell down low. It's been there all night for Pierce County. Here come the Bears now. Delaney bringing it down to Murray. Murray, good, there it is, back door, got it. I knew it was coming. 18 points for Bell now. We're tied up. Dean with the ball, she'll take it all the way. Panthers back on top. 44-42 and the Bears throw it away. Trying to hit Murray under the gold and it went too far. Coach Chase is wanting a timeout, and we're going to take a 60-second timeout. Don't go nowhere. 44-42 Panthers lead. We'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily, and the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl trico Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodlin' Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. Allen and Daniel bringing it to you. 44-42, Panthers lead. They got the ball. Oh, they're going to throw. No, good save by Talbert. Talbert over to Dorsey. Dorsey lays it up, can't get it. Nana with the rebound. Dean has it. She'll travel. Man, she come down hard. 33 seconds to play. Here come the Bears. They can tie it up or take the lead. Here they come. They get it to Bennett. Bennett's going to drive in. They'll throw up one off the backboard. Asia with the rebound. Dean with the ball. She'll dribble through. We're going to have a foul. That's going to be on Heron. That'll put Dean at the free throw line. Boy, we need one of them. She's got to have at least one of them, darling. 44-42, 20 seconds to play. Love to have them both, but we need one. First one on the way, off the back of the rim. Let's 
Second shot on the way for Dean. Got it, good shot by Dean. 45-42, 15 seconds. Dean with the steal. She'll dribble down. Over to Talbert, Talbert lays it up and in. Good job by the Panthers, 47-42. They get it. Heron with a long three, can't get it to go. Bale with the rebound. That'll do it. Somehow the Panthers hang on to the win here in Omerville. 47-42. Good job by the Panthers. Man, let's see the scores for the Panthers. 7, 10, 12 for Talbert. 3 for Magby. 13 for Dean. 2 for Stevens. 2 for Peters. Let's see, 7, 10, 12 for Dorsey. And 3 for Morris. Top scores for Pierce County is 18 for Elena Bell. Nine for Murray. And seven for Heron. Those are your top scores. Well, the Lady Panthers hang on to win. We're going to take a break. Y'all don't go nowhere. The boys are up next. We'll be back in just a second. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. 
Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. 
The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit registersatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, coworkers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily, and the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl trico Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move at Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle & Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz. We're getting ready for the boys. Clinch County come in with a one and one record. They lost in overtime to Double A Cook County and then come back and beat Friday night. They beat Ware County, a 5A school in overtime, 65 to 57. The Bears from Pierce County, they're just now getting all their players back because they played for a state title last week in football and winning it all in double A. And I get to, I've got to give a shout out here from Creek Box to our middle school. They won the boys basketball championship Saturday over in Turner County, 53 to 50. James Edwards and Russell Robinson, give them a shout out. They did a great job coaching them boys this year. Number one, DJ White. Number four, Joe Drew. Number 11, Dave Cornigo. And number 12, Ty Reddick. Your starters for Pierce County. And your starting lineup for the Panthers. Number one, RJ Gloucester. Gloucester, number one. Number four, Eric Bryant. Bryant, number four. Number 10, Travis Miller. Miller, number 10. Number 13, Jeremy Bell. Bell. And number 23, Jay Sean Raymond. Jay Sean Raymond will be your starter. Alvin Green will be out. He probably won't be back till after the first of the year. He got hurt in the Ware County game. Coach Terrence, I talked to him before the game, and actually I talked to Green coming in. He said he twisted his ankle. He's limping on it a little bit. He would love to play, but Coach Terrence George said, hey, we're going to try to move on without him. Region play will start after the first, and that's what's important. Bell put on a highlight reel last Friday. Let's see if he can do it again tonight. He'll be jumping, and he's going against number 12, Reddick. Bell will win the jump, and here comes RJ. He'll set up the play. He'll get it to Raymond. Raymond down to Miller. Miller off the backboard, can't get it. Reddick with the rebound. Here come the Bears. Hayes with the ball. He'll kick it out to number 11, Varnado. Back over to Juan White. Drew with the ball. All the way back over to Varnado. Drives under Bell to slap it away. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant with the ball. Good pick by Miller. Bryant will pull up at the free throw line off the back of the rim. Raymond has it. Good rebound. He'll kick it back out to Bryant. Over to RJ. RJ will set up another play. RJ will dribble in, good pass over to Bryant, long three off the rim. Bell with the rebound. He'll kick it back out to RJ. Panthers get another opportunity to score. Bell with the ball. Crossover move, he get, lost it going up. Raymond saves it, or Miller saved it. Bell saved it, here come the Bears now. Hayes with the ball. He'll kick it out to Varnado. Long three, can't get it to fall. Here come the Panthers. RJ back down. We're scoreless here. Long three, short. Good job by Raymond. He'll put it up. Two to nothing now, Panthers lead. Hayes bringing it down. He'll kick it over to number four. That is Drew. Off the basket, Raymond with the rebound. He'll give it up to Bryant. Here come the Panthers now, over to RJ. Back to Bryant. RJ has it, he'll kick it out to Bell. Bell thought about it, he'll dribble in. A 12-footer can't get it to fall. Hayes with the rebound, here come the Bears. Over to Varnado. Varnado with another long three, overshot it, and out of bounds. Panthers have it. Here come the Panthers, RJ with the ball.
There's a steal, good job by Varnado. He's gonna drive, reverse, lays up and in. Varnado with the basket, we're all tied two apiece. RJ with it, he'll get it over to Bale. Bale back down to Miller, Miller back door to RJ, up and in. Panthers lead four to two. Dollar Bill checking in, let's go Panthers. Drew with the ball, he'll give it back to Hayes. Long three off the back of the rim. Miller with the rebound. RJ has it. Here come the Panthers. Down to Jay Sean. Miller with the ball, good block by Varnado. Panthers save it. Bryant with it. Bryant's gonna drive, lays it up, can't get it. Miller tried to put it back in. in. We got a foul. Number zero, that'll be Hayes. That'll be his first. That's gonna put Miller at the free throw line for the Panthers. First shot on the way, got it. Good shot by Miller. Five to two now, Panthers lead. Burns will come in. Raymond will take a break. Miller's second shot. Got them both. Good job by Miller. Six to two, Panthers lead. Drew bringing it down for the Bears. He's going to take it all the way to the basket and got it to go. Good job by Drew. Six to four. Here come the Panthers pushing it. Bryant with the ball. Back out to RJ. RJ setting up another play. Burns with the ball. Back to Bryant. 15 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Crossover. Bryant's going to be short. RJ couldn't save it. The wall was in the way, so the Panthers turn it over. Let's go Panthers from Jonathan and Angela Talbert from Cutting Loop. We appreciate y'all tuning in, darling. Long three by the Bears. They'll miss it. Bryant with the rebound out to RJ. Bell driving in, he was gonna pass it, he'll draw a foul. Let's see, I think it's on 23, let's see. Yep, 23. That'll be on Elijah Howard. That'll be his first. Raymond back in the game for the Panthers. Miller will take a break. Raymond playing some good, pan uh, some good basketball for the Panthers also. Uh, we got bracelet on they're taking it off we're ready to play brian will bring it in for the panthers he'll get it into rj rj over to bell bell looking gonna drive in let's see we got a foul on number two that will be nigel brown that'll be his first Panthers have it. RJ with the ball. Six to four, Panthers on top here in the first. Bell driving in, good job, good pass to Raymond. Raymond missed it on the backside. Here come the Bears. Brown with it, he'll lay it up and in and one. That's gonna be on RJ, that'll be his first. Brown with the basket. Can make a three point play here, we're all tied up. Got about 1,300 people viewing now. We appreciate, appreciate everybody tuning in. Brown will miss it. Bell with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Six to six now. Brian will kick it out to Bell. Over to RJ. RJ back out to Raymond. Bryant with the ball now. 
Bell with it. Trying to get it to Burns off the backboard. Can't get it to go. Bears with the rebound. Here they come. That's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan with the ball. Oh, Howard with the ball. He'll drive in. Can't get it to go. Oh, man. Sloan tried to put it up and in and missed it. RJ with it. He'll kick it out. Bell throws it up. Can't get it to go. Sloan with the rebound. Here come the Bears. Drew with it. Long shot. Sloan with the rebound. Throws it in. It'll be backcourt. Panthers will take over. RJ will bring it in to Bryant. We're all tied up. Two minutes to play in the first. Bale with the ball now. Crossover, jump shot, got it. Good shot by Bale. Eight to six now, Panthers on top. 1.45 to play in the first, clock running. Abney says, let's go Panthers. A long three by the Bears, can't get it. R Bryant with the rebound, here come the Panthers now. RJ pushing it down, back to Bryant. Bale with it. He'll pull up. 20 footer. Couldn't get it to go. Raymond with the rebound. We got a jump ball. Bears have the air, so they'll take over. Eight to six. Panthers on top. Hayes with the ball. He'll give it up over to White. Back out to Reddick. Hayes with it again. He'll give it up to Drew. Back to Hayes. Over to Brown. Look out. Number 12. That's Reddick. Shooting. Got it up and in. Good job by Reddick. We're all tied up again. Eight apiece. RJ with the ball. He'll give it up to Burns. Or Bell. Bell driving in. Got it off the backboard. Good job by Bell. 10 to 8, Panthers on top. Here come the Bears. Hayes with the ball. He'll get it down to Reddick. Reddick, turn around, jump shot. Can't get it to go. Miller with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. RJ with it. Kicks it out to Bryant. Back to Miller. Oh, and there's a turnover. Here comes Hayes and the Bears. Oh, there's a good steal right there by R.J. R.J. going, laying it up. Oh, there it is. Bell with another two-hand slam. 12 to 8. Last play of the first quarter. Panthers on top. 12 to 8. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz working the camera. Panthers leading 12 to eight over Pierce County. Panthers with the ball, Bell has it. Just made another highlight, real dunk. RJ laid it off the backboard and Bell took it home. 
Good move by Bell, turn around, 10 footer, couldn't get it to fall. R Drew with the rebound, here come the Bears. Drew back out to Barnado. Back over to White. White gonna drive in, couldn't get it to go. Bell with the rebound. Good job saving it. Barnado almost took it. He'll give it back up to Bryant. Bryant back to RJ. Long three. Boom! Off the backboard. RJ with a three. 15 to eight now. Panthers lead. Hayes with the ball. He'll give it up to Drew. Drew driving in. Couldn't get it to go. Foul will be on number 10. That's Miller. That'll be his first for the Panthers. That'll put Drew at the free throw line. He has two points tonight. 6.52 to play in the first half. First free throw up and in. Good shot there by Drew. Second free throw on the way. Got them both. Good job. 15 to 10. Bryant's going to bring it in. Bell will give it right back to him. Bryant bringing it down for the Panthers. Looking, he's going to drive. Good move. Oh, they said he traveled. That would have been just right in the NBA, though. 15 to 10, Panthers lead. Here come the Bears now. Hayes with the ball. He'll kick it over to Brown. Brown driving, can't get it to go. 12 had the rebound. That's Reddick, but he lost it. Here comes Bell. Got it to Miller. Miller trying to get inside. We got a jump ball. Good job there by number one, White for Pierce. Reached in and grabbed a hold of it from Miller. Tied him up. Here come the Bears now. He's going to drive in. Good move there by Hayes. Good job, 15 to 12. Here come the Bears back. Bryant with the ball. He'll get it to Raymond. Raymond back out to five. That's uh, Mingo. Back to Bell. Bell, what a move. He couldn't get it to fall. Jump ball, I don't know. Panthers have possession. I didn't even know he, another guy touched it. Barnado will take a break, or Riddick will. Sloan back in the game. Panthers have it, Mingo, he'll give it back up to Bryant. Bryant trying to drive in, good save there by Bale. Good backdoor pass by Bell behind the back. Got it to fall. Good job by Raymond. 17 to 12, Panthers on top. Drew with the ball for the Bears. He'll drive in. Good job. Can't get it. Bell with the rebound. He'll get it out to Bryant. Here come the Panthers. Bryant driving in off the backboard. Bell was trying to clean it up. Foul on 23. That'll be Elijah Howard. No, that's on the Panthers 23. That'll be Raymond. That'll be his first. Felicia Williams says, let's go Panthers. Carter says, let's go Panthers.
1,300 people watching now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Barnado with the ball. Good pass, back door, 23, got it in there. That's Howard with the basket. 17-14. Panthers still in the lead. Bryant, back out to Mingo. Mingo trying to get it down low. We're going to have a foul on number one. That's White. He would reach it in. Burns back in the game now for the Panthers. Mingo will take a break. RJ with the ball, 4.20 to play in the first half. They get it to Burns. Burns trying to drive up high, couldn't get it. Raymond up and in, two shots, finally got it to fall. Good job by Raymond. 19-14. Here come the Bears back. White with the ball, long shot, got it to go. It was a two-pointer, though. One step back, it would have been a three. Panthers can't get it to fall. That was Burns. Here come the Bears now. They can tie it up here. Barnado with the ball. Back out to Sloan. Trying to get it to Barnado. He does down low. Good shot by Barnado. 19 to 18 now. They get it to Bell. Bell back to RJ. RJ with the long three, overshot it. Brian will check in now. And Bell will take a break, 319 to play in the first half. Pierce can come down here and take the first lead of the night. Hayes with the ball. He'll shoot a three, boom, got it. Hayes with a three. 21-19, Pierce County in front now. RJ will give it up to Raymond. Mingo with it. Mingo, 10-footer off the backboard, can't get it to fall. Sloan with the rebound, here come the Bears. Hayes with the ball. Oh, he traveled. Got some subs coming in. Bale back in the game for the Panthers. RJ bringing it down. Over to Bale. Bale gonna drive. He'll draw a foul on Sloan. That'll be Sloan's first. That'll put Bale at the free throw line. First shot on the way off the back of the rim. Jordan will check in, Sloan will take a break. Second shot on the way, good job by Bell. Five points for Bell tonight. 21-20, Pierce still on top. Trying to get it, Bale with the steal, he got it. He'll get it, uh, oh, good job passing back in two, RJ had it. Panthers are turning it over. Here comes Hayes down one end to the other. White with a long shot, can't get it to go. Bale with it, look out. Oh, he lost it in there. Well, Raymond trying to put it up. Nobody can make a basket now. I don't know who the foul's on here. I think he called it on Raymond. I think. All right, here come the Bears. Hayes with the ball. Over to White. Back out to Jordan. 
White with it now, long three off the rim. That was Burns with the rebound, no basket, no basket, jump ball. Pierce has the possession and the lead, 21-21, 32 to play in the first half. They get it back out to White, there's a turnover, RJ's got it. Panthers can't get a basket. RJ traveled. Coach Terrence giving them that long stare now. It's gonna be a quiet locker room at the half, I can tell you that. Clock running, 118, 117. Panthers dominated the first quarter and they just went cold. Foul on number one, that's White. That'll be his second. Here come the Panthers now. RJ with the ball. Bell with it now. Crossover, pull up, 12 footer. Man, in and out. 15 will put it up, can't get it to go. Raymond with the rebound. He's going to put it up a second time. He got it then. Good job by Raymond. Panthers pull back in front, 22-21. Hayes with the ball. Pierce County wants a timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. Here we go. 30 seconds to play in the first half. Panthers lead by one. Pierce wanting the lead back. Long three off the rim. Can't get it. Reddick, here comes Bell from one end to the other. Oh, he's going to try to dunk it. Couldn't get it to go. They got it back to him. He lays it up. Can't get it to go. Out of bounds. Panthers have it with 12 seconds. Bell tried to get a dunk. Here we go, RJ will pull up, can't get it to go. Bears have it. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. That's it, we're gonna go to halftime. What a game, a good one. Panthers lead 22-21 over the Bears from Pierce County. We'll be back in nine minutes. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. 
In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Ankor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family, dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, 
home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz with me. Got a great game here with the boys. Clinch County leading Pierce County 22 21 at the half. Lady Panthers won the girls' game. It was a good game also. Mm. Top scores for the Bears. Let's see, you got Hayes with five points, White with two, Brown with two, Drew with four, Barnado with four, Reddick with two, and Howard with two. For the Panthers, you got RJ with five, Miller with two, Bell with five, and Raymond with eight. And that makes it 22 to 21. We're getting ready for the second half, man. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We've had about 1,300 people watching. We'll give a shout out to our sponsors. We have Clint Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Homerville Jewelers, Dre Snack Shack, Clint Memorial Pharmacy, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Clint Memorial Family Practice, Pizza Inn of Waycross, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia. Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia. Camping World of Alasta. Napa Auto of Homerville. Big Daddies on Highway 84. Walker Jones in Waycross. Adam Toe and Burt CPA. Let's Brown Insurance. Moore Farms right there in Maynard, Georgia. Huey's One Stop. Douglas Meadow. Register Satsumas. Richard's Meat. Seafood and Famous Barbecue Sauce. We have the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate all of them being a sponsor here live on Creek Box. If anybody else would love to become a sponsor, you let me and Daniel know, we can hook you up. We're getting ready for the second half. Panthers lead 22-21. They're warming up. Good crowd here tonight. Me and Daniel will be back live tomorrow night. We'll come on about 5.55, tip off at 6, where Clinch County will host Irwin County from Osceola. They'll be back in our region next year, Region 2A. Be some more exciting games with Irwin County. A shout out Pierce County football team man winning the class double A state title, finishing 14 and 1. Ain't too much better than that. Pierce County fired up, ready to play. All right, I'm sure Coach Terrence George put them laser eyes on a few of the players at halftime. Panthers will have the ball to start the second half. Brian will bring it in for the Panthers. He'll give it over to RJ, and here they come. Back to Bryant. RJ with it. They'll get it down inside to Miller. Miller will turn it over. I guess he traveled. That'll be a turnover. So here come the Bears now. Hayes will bring it down. He'll kick it over to White. 
Down to Reddick. He'll kick it back out to Drew. Three second violations, so the Panthers will take back over. RJ bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to Bryant. Bryant trying to drive in. We got a foul on number one for the Bears. That'll be White, that'll be his first. No, White, that'll be his third. My bad. RJ bringing it in, he'll get it to Bryant. Pierce County played some good defense tonight against the Panthers. RJ back to Bryant. Long shot, Mingo trying to hit the three. Raymond with the rebound under the basket. He lost it, here come the Bears now. Hayes bringing it down. He'll kick it out to White. They said he traveled, man, he hit a three too. Bale will check in now for the Panthers. Mingo will take a break. Joshua Harris watch, is watching. Let's get them, Panthers. Watching live from Miami, Florida. All right. We appreciate you tuning in, buddy. RJ with a three. Oh, in and out. Wouldn't fall. Hayes with the rebound. Here come the Bears. 22-21. Panthers on top. Both teams struggling to get a basket. Reddick with the ball. Over to Hayes. Barnado now. Back out to White. White's gonna drive, he'll slap it away. Good job by RJ, here comes Bell. We got a foul on zero, that'll be Hayes and that's gonna be his second. Brown in the game now for the Bears. Bryant with the ball. Bryant had a great game Friday night against Ware County. RJ trying to kick it out to Bryant. Hayes has it, lost it out of bounds. Man, a good play by Hayes. He couldn't hold on to it. RJ will bring it in. He'll get it back to Bryant. Bryant looking, he'll kick it out to RJ. Back down to Raymond. Raymond turn around, got it. Another basket by Raymond. He's got 10 tonight. 24-21, Panthers up by three now. Bears need the basket. Hayes with the ball, he'll back to Varnado. Varnado will kick it out to Brown. Back to Hayes. Reddick with the ball. Brown with it, back to Varnado. Drew with it now, he's gonna drive, he kicks it out to Hayes, long three off the back of the rim. Bears with the rebound. Couldn't get it to go, here we go. 10 with the rebound, Miller. Here come the Panthers now. Bale with the ball. Oh, he lost it, we got a foul. On zero, that's Hayes, that'll be his third. Brian will bring it in. Sloan and Howard will check in now. Reddick and Barnado will take a break. Bryant's gonna bring it in. Good job there, they found Miller all along up under the basket for an easy layup. 26-21 now, Panthers up. Hayes with the ball. He'll back away. Trying to get it to Sloan, there's a steal by Bryant out to RJ. RJ laying it, oh, we got a foul, no foul. Coach Terrence won't it. There's Miller, will get it a foul on this end. 
Coach Terrence said he wanted RJ to just get the layup. They were trying to set up a dunk, and they pushed Jeremy. They weren't going to let him get another slam. And Miller come down and got a foul on this end. That's his second. Good shot there by number 23. That's Howard. That's three points for him tonight. 26-22, second shot on the way. Off the rim, couldn't get it. Bears had the rebound, and they got it. Somehow they got it, trying to put it up. Raymond with the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. RJ bringing it down. They letting them play under the basket. Bell with a long one, can't get it to go. Raymond had it, lost it. Give it to Bell. Somehow Miller stays in bounds, don't know how. They give it back to Miller. He lays it up and in, or was that a foul? Yeah, no basket, 26-22. Three second violations, what they said. Here come the Bears now, Drew with the ball. Long shot and got it. Good shot by Drew, seven for him. 26-25, here come the Bears back. Bryant with the ball. He'll pull up just inside the three, threw up a brick, couldn't get it to go. Hayes, he'll kick it back out to Brown. Brown drives in. Fouls on number two. They're going to call a charge on Brown. That'll be his second. 26 25, 333 to play in the third. Here come the Panthers. Bryant with the ball, you get it to Bell. Bell, crossover, oh, they're gonna draw a foul, that's gonna be on 23. That is Howard, that'll be his second. Panthers close to getting in the bonus, one more. Now they're in it now. I'll put Bell at the free throw line. First free throw on the way, Panthers will miss it. Boy, they have stunk it up tonight shooting. Good as they were Friday, they're just as awful tonight. Can't get it to go. Second shot on the way, can't get that one. Good job by Raymond, saves it. Oh, he stepped on the line. Tell you what, Raymond played some basketball tonight. He scored 10 points, 26-25. Panthers still holding on to a one-point lead. Sloan with the ball. Turn around, got it to go. Good shot by Sloan. Pierce with the lead, 27-26. Bell thought about it. He'll pull up just inside the three, can't get it to go. Raymond fighting for it, can't get it. Jump ball. Howard and Raymond fighting for it down low. Pierce County has the possession. All right, here come Hayes. Down the court for the Bears. Out to Howard. Over to Brown. Back to Drew. Sloan has it. There's a three by Sloan. Couldn't get it to go. RJ with the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. RJ driving, he's gonna drive to the basket, pull up 10 footer, no, he traveled, he slid. Couldn't put the brakes on. Jordan will come in the game now, and Drew will take a break for the Bears. Hayes bringing it down. Bears needing a bucket here. Howard with the ball. 22 driving, can't get it to go off his fingertips. Panthers have it. 27-26, Pierce County on top. 
Here come the Panthers. They want the lead back. They got to get a bucket. Bryant with the ball. RJ with a three. Can't get it to go. Bale with the rebound. Bale's going to drive in. Good pass to Raymond. They'll draw a... Nope, they got a good block from behind. No foul, all ball. Rich in the game now for the Bears. Along with Reddick. Panthers with it. Bale trying to get him up. Turn around. Got it. Good shot by Bale. Seven for Bale tonight. Panthers only have six points here in the third. 28-27. They're back on top. Oh, that's going to be a walk. 123 to play in the third. Bryant with the ball. He's going all the way to the basket. He's going to draw a foul. Thirty-four. That's Rich. That'll be his first foul. Pierce County with four points here in the sec in the third quarter. Clinch County with six. Neither team scored no points. Bryant hit the first one. He didn't make the second one. 29-27. Hayes driving to the basket. Can't get it. Good job there by Bryant, uh, Burns. Tipped it over to RJ. Bryant with it. Under a minute to play here in the third. Bryant pull up 12 footer, can't get it to go. Bale, big rebound up and in. Good job by Bale. Bale starting to come alive now. 31 27. Bears need a bucket. Hayes with the crossover, he'll give it up to Rich. Back over to Jordan. Oh, Bale will slap it up in the bleachers. Rich trying to take a shot. Bell slapped it up in the crowd. Pierce County still has possession. They get it to Jordan. Long shot. Can't get it to go. Raymond with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Clock's running. 12. 10. Eight, Bell pulls up and got it. Good shot by Bell. Two, one, that's gonna do it. So after three quarters, it's Clinch County 33, Pierce County 27. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averitt House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz. Panthers leading going into the fourth, 33-27. Number 11 in the game. Posley now for the Panthers. They give it up to Mingo. Johnson with the ball. Back over to Posley. Yeah. 
They're trying to get it down. Got it, Domingo down low. Couldn't get it. Here come the Bears now. Number four lays it up. Can't get it. Put back there by number 12, Reddick. They'll draw a foul on number five. That's Mingo. That'll be his first. No, they're not going to shoot. All right. Barnado will bring it in. Good job, he got it in the white. Number four, Drew, long shot off the edge of the rim, but Hayes will get the rebound and Pierce keeps it. White with a long three, boom, got it. 33-30, here come the Bears right back in it. Hosley with the ball, he'll give it up to Mingo. Mingo back to Johnson. They're setting it up. Oh, there's a good steal by Hayes. He's going to take it all the way. Oh, he missed it. How did he miss it? Burns with the rebound. Johnson with the ball. They get it to Miller. Miller trying to drive. Can't get it. Here come the Bears. Back down. Lays it up and in. Good job by Drew. 33-32. Panthers lead by one. Coach Terrence wants a timeout. He'll get his five subs out and put the five one back in. We'll be back in 30 seconds. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must, must go. go like this beautiful iridescent white pearl trico Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. All right, Trawick says, let's go, Panthers. We got about 1,500 people watching now. We appreciate everybody from Pierce County watching. Tuned in to Creek Box and all our fans in Clinch County. All right, Bell with the ball. Panthers with the one-point lead. Bell pulls up 10-footer, got it. Good job by Bell. He's turning it on here in the second half. Hayes with the ball. He'll give it up to Varnado. Good job by RJ. Almost got a steal. 35-32, 6.02 to play. Varnado bringing it in. Good job by Raymond. Raymond got a piece of it. And then it went off. White's head out of bounds, so the Panthers have it. They get it in to Bell. Bell back to Bryant. Pierce in a man-to-man -man now. Bryant kick it out to RJ. We got a foul. See who this one's on. Number zero, boy, Hayes, that'll be his fourth. Got to be careful here with 5.51 to play. Can't afford to lose him, he's a good ball player. He's got five points for the Bears tonight. Bryant with the ball. Plenty of time, Bryant will pull up. 12 footer, got it, good shot by Bryant. 37-32. Hayes with the ball for the Bears. He'll give it up to Varnado. Varnado driving in and Bell puts it against the backboard. Slap that one against the backboard. He ain't having none of it. Bell, 12 footer. We got a foul on this end. That's gonna be on number four, Drew. That'll be his first. I think Pierce coach wanted goaltended on this end. 
Bell went up there and got it as he laid it up. He pinned it against the backboard. Y'all watch it on Creek Box. Let us know what you think. Bell with the point. Sloan's in the game now. We also have Howard coming in. Second free throw on the way. 38-32, Panthers on top. Got them both. Good job by Bell. 39-32, here come the Bears. Hayes with the ball. Get it over to 23, that's Howard. Back to Hayes, long three off the rim. Sloan with the rebound, lays it up and in. Good shot by Sloan. 39-34. We're going to have another timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the free... All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. Clark Stovall says, let's go Bears, all the way from Pierce County. Tell you what, they played some good basketball tonight. Pull up by Bell, can't get it to go. Sloan with the rebound. He'll give it up to Drew. Here come the Bears now. They need a bucket. Long three. Boom! Got it! Howard with a three-pointer. Bears right back in it. 39-37. Panthers on top. RJ with the ball. Back out to Raymond. Over to Bryant. Bryant going to drive in. He'll throw it one. Can't get it to go. Sloan with the rebound. Here come the Bears. Drew lays it up and in. 39-39. We're all tied up. We got about 2,000 people watching now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. There's a fight for it. Bears have it. Raymond lost it for the Panthers. Tried to get it. 3.59 to play in the game. This is the Panthers' third game. Their first one went in overtime against Cook. They lost it. The second one went in overtime against Ware, and the Panthers won it. Looks like we might be having another overtime game here. Palmin the basketball. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers. Brian will bring it in. RJ with the ball back to Bryant. Clock running, 340 to play. Bryant trying to pick a old can't. They get it back to RJ. He'll pull up. Good defense by the Bears. Here they come. That's White with the ball. Bell slaps another one away. That's the fourth one he's knocked out tonight. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine. We're all tied up. Hayes will bring it in. Howard with the ball. Back over to Sloan. Back to Howard. Hayes with it now. They'll kick it out all the way to White. White double dribble. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant with the ball. Bell has it now. Spin move, 12 footer. Got it, good shot by Bell. Man, he's lit it up here in the second half. 41-39, Panthers back out in front. 
There's a steal, RJ had it, lost it out of bounds. Bell with 13 points here in the second half. He had five at halftime. He's got 18 points now, Sloan with the ball. Oh, he lost it. Said Miller kicked it and it went out of bounds. Pierce will keep it. Now they're talking about it. They're going to keep it that way. Pierce County has it. And to bring it in, they do it. They get it out into Howard. Oh, man, good job by Raymond. They got him back door, lays it up and in. Good job by White. We're tied up again, 41-41. Here come the Panthers. Bryant dribbling through. 2.20 to play, clock running. Bell with it, pulled up. 15-footer in and out, it wouldn't stay. Here come the Bears, they can take the lead. Oh, couldn't get it to go, puts it up and in. Drew with the basket. 43-41, Bears on top now. RJ with the ball, back to Bell. Bell driving in, off the backboard, couldn't get it, Raymond with the rebound. Back to RJ, 140 to play, clock running. Get it to Miller, Miller falls. Oh, they said he traveled. Be a turnover, 140 to play. Pierce County 43, Clinch County 41. Here come the Bears now. Hayes bringing it down. Gonna drive in, good job there. By number 15, that's Burns, knocked it out of bounds. Bears will keep it. They get it in, there's a long three, overshot it. Out of bounds, off the Panthers again. Out of bounds. Coach Terrence has about had enough. They get it in, down low, can't get it to fall. Raymond with the rebound. We got a foul on number one. That's White, that'll be foul number four on him. Panthers need a basket now to tie it up. 120 to play, clock running. Oh, almost a steal by the Bears. RJ with it. He'll kick it out to Bryant. Clock running, Bell has it. 15 on the shot clock. Bell pulls up, 12 footer, can't get it. We got a foul. See who's it on. 23, that's Howard, that'll be his third. These are big free throws, 101 to play. 43-41, Bears in the lead. Got the first one, good job by Bell. 14, 19 points. Now for Bell. One point game. Second shot on the way, got them both, big shots. 43-43, here come the Bears. 56, 55, clock running. Got it to Sloan, Sloan kicks it out. Good save there by Howard. Pierce County wants a timeout, they want a 60 second timeout. We're gonna take a break, we'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley and I wanna tell you about Dre Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. 
For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 all right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Another exciting game. We could be for a third straight overtime game with the boys, it looks like. Pierce County don't want to hear none of that. We got about going on close to 1,900 people watching now. We appreciate all of y'all tuning in watching Creek Box. Oh, he traveled. He'll turn it over, and Panthers have the ball. We are tied up. 43, 43, 41 seconds. Clock running. Bryant with the ball. Back to Bell. Bell in the hot hand. Back to RJ. Bryant with it. Back to RJ. Oh, there's a steal by Hayes. Bell slaps it down out of bounds. Panthers have it with 19 seconds. Bell, that's block number six. You got all ball, here comes Bryant. 15. Bryant, nowhere to go, 12 seconds. He'll throw up a long three. We got a timeout. Coach Terrence wants a timeout. Y'all don't go nowhere. 11 seconds to play. This will be our last commercial break. We'll be back in just a second. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Alright, here we go. Panthers with the ball. 11.3 seconds to play. Clanton says that was obviously a foul, brother. It, it looked like one. Bell with the ball, clock running. Four, three, two, one. We're going to overtime. No, oh, he got a timeout with nine tenths of a second. My, oh my. 43, 43. Hey. <laughs> Too high. I'm just taking a break. <laughs> 43 43, they put 1.2 seconds back on the clock. So, time they throw it in, they got to get the shot off. Pierce County has the ball. Looking at the overtime, the Panthers. They don't have nobody in foul trouble. Pierce County's got Hayes, White, and Howard in foul trouble with them. Hayes and White had three apiece. Howard had, no, they have four apiece and Howard has three. All right, my little buddy Scott's watching. All right, here we go, 1.2 seconds. Time he touches it, you got to shoot it. You got to shoot it, that's it. They brought it in, couldn't get another timeout. So folks, we're going to overtime 43 to 43. We'll play four extra minutes. We're gonna take a 60 second break. We'll be back in just a second. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you. 
All right, my bad. The referee's put one second back on the clock. So now they'll have it at half court. Coach Terrence don't like to call. He threw it across half court. He grabbed it. Somebody else called time, but they used two-tenths of a second. So they're going to try to get another shot off. We'll stay right here. One second to play, 43-43. White's going to bring it in. Here we go. The referee says, all right, here we go. Got to get it in. He's going to throw it up. Throws it out of bounds with no time. Panthers have it now. One second. And the Panthers have it at half court. Now Coach Terrence says, let's look at us a play down here on this end. So we're just going to say, no, that'll be a 60 second. We will take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. All right, here we go, folks. One second to play. Panthers have it now. You don't want a foul here. Raymond's going to bring it in. Throws it to Bell. Bell trying to get it. Got it off. Almost got it. Coach Terrence wanting a foul. So it looks like we're going to go to overtime. All tied up 43 to 43. We'll be back in 60 seconds for the overtime. We'll play four minutes. We'll be right back. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Aver House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. All right, here we go. Ready for the overtime. Bell will be jumping against Howard and the Panthers win the jump. Raymond with the ball. They get it to bail down low and one. That'll be on Sloan. Good job by Bell. Got the basket, got it to roll. That'll be the second foul on Sloan. Good job by Bell. He hit him. Three-point play, 46-43 now, Panthers on top. Howard with the ball. Sloan with it now. He'll get it back out to White. Good defense by the Panthers, Hayes with it. He'll kick it back out to Drew. Drew lays it up, can't get it to go. 
Bell with, no, Raymond with it. Jump ball. Pierce County has the possession, so they'll keep it. Hayes with it. He's gonna drive in, throws it to Sloan. Sloan off the backboard, got it to go. 46-45, Panthers still on top. Bell with the ball. Trying to make a path to the goal. He's gonna dribble in, lays it up, can't get it to go. Good job by the Bears, they get the rebound. Hayes with it. 2.45 to play in overtime. Oh, that was Drew with the shot, Sloan with the rebound. We get it back to Hayes, over to White. White with a three off the backboard, got it. 48-46, Bears on top now. Here come the Panthers. 2.20 to play in overtime. Oh, good play by Hayes with the steal. They get it to Drew. Good block by Bell again. They save it, here comes Bell. Out to Bryant. Bryant dribbling around. We got a foul, let's see if this one goes. Oh, that's it. Hayes will be gone if that's on him, that's five. Boy, that's gonna hurt. Man. He only has five points, but he sets, everything is set off him. He has played a great game. That's gonna put Bryant at the free throw line and the Panthers trail by two. Here in overtime, 2.01 to play. First one good, good shot by Bryant. Second free throw on the way. Got them both, good job by Bryant. 48-48. Here we go, here come the Bears. Drew with the ball. Good job by Raymond, he'll pick it off. He gives it to Bell. One on one, Bell lays it up and in. You ain't gonna stop that. And one. Foul on number one, and that's White, and he's gone. That's five on White. I knew it was gonna come to get him. Barnado would check in for White. White had a great game, hit two big threes tonight for the Bears. 10 points for White tonight. Bell trying to make it a three-point play. Got the roll, good job by Bell. Here come the Bears, 51-48, Panthers on top, 135 to play in overtime. Good save there by Brown. Brown, Bell got no, Posley got a block. They're gonna call a foul on him. Now they're gonna call on Raymond, 23. That'll be Raymond's second. We got about 1,900 people watching Creekbox tonight. We appreciate all y'all tuning in. Good shot there by number two, Brown. 51-49, second shot on the way for Brown. Got them both, big shot. 51-50, Panthers lead. 125 to play in overtime. Bale with the ball. Bale driving, nowhere to go. Good back pass to Raymond. Off the backboard, couldn't get it. Here come the Bears. Go! Oh! Bale slaps that. 
out of bounds. Boy, he slapped it up to the scoreboard. Here come the Panthers now. 51-50, one point lead. Under a minute in overtime now. Bell lays it up and in and one. Foul will be on number four, Drew. That's his second. You just can't stop him. 28 points tonight for Bell. Make it, oh, almost 29. It went in and come out, 53-50. Bears still have a chance. 48 seconds. They just need a three, there it is. Off the back of the rim. Bryant had it, he lost it. Bernardo got it, Sloan, another three. Oh, off the rim, Sloan trying to save it and he does. Good job by Sloan, he bounced it off Freeman. 33 seconds. Drew had two open shots at the three, couldn't get it to fall. All right, here we go, Barnado bringing it in. Got it back to Drew. He'll throw it out. Oh, there it is, RJ with the steal. Foul game! Just like it was the other night. Oh my! You can't stop it. Bell with another slam, 55-50. Boom, he'll block it again. Coming down, look out. Oh, oh, tried to get it. Posley back up, got it. 57-50. Drew will throw up one, it doesn't matter, he got it. That's gonna make it 57-53. Bell with another highlight game winning. He'll finish with 32 tonight. My, what a game. Three games, three overtimes. I don't know what to expect tomorrow night. Me and Daniel will be back. Clinch County and Irwin County right here in Homerville. If you can't make it, you can catch it live on Creek Box. Let's go through some stats here. Hayes finished with five points. White with 10. Brown with four points. Drew had four, five, 13 points. Barnado with four. Reddick with two. Sloan with six. Howard had six. All right, for the Panthers. RJ with five. Let's see, Bryant with two, four, five. Miller with four. Posley with two. Bale with 32. And Raymond with 10. 53-57, Panthers win in overtime. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Before we get out of here, I give a shout out to my sponsors. We have Homerville Jewelers, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Dre Snack Shack, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Pete's Inn of Waycross, Savage Turner Law Firm, Camping World of Alasta. Napa Auto, Big Daddy's on Highway 84. If you can't make it here, go up to Big Daddy's. Walker Jones of Waycross, Burt CPA, Let's Brown Insurance, Moore Farms there in Maynard, Georgia, Huey's One Stop, Register Satsumas, Douglas Meadow, Richard's Meat and Seafood and Famous Barbecue Sauce, 
the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate all of them being sponsors. If anybody would love to become one, you let me and Daniel know. We can hook you up. As our captain, Mr. Barry and Sutton used to say every Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday, it seemed like during basketball, y'all please tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow night.